Alrighty. Okay, we're going to start out on our backs. Make sure you have a blanket or block. Um, we'll be doing bridge, supported bridge. Or if you want it between your shoulder blades, you know how your back's feeling. You guys know, know what's going on. So what feels good on your body today? Do you give puppy kisses? Where's your puppy today, Amelia? He's over there. I told him to get off the rug so I could <laughs> put my mouth down. Okay. Hey, it looks like Jennifer didn't mute us. Hey, how fun. Mute y'all. So that's kind of fun. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you can do you guys if you want, but I prefer having it unmuted so everybody can talk. It's y'all's choice. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Whatever. You know I'm good. It won't stop me. I'll keep you going. <laughs> okay. So when you're ready, go on to your back. Maybe hug your knees in. Rock it side to side. If you get a puppy kiss along the way, enjoy the moment. Always good. Or a cattail across the face. That's good, too. And just close your eyes and just begin to enjoy a little massage here. Enjoy feeling your body. Connect with your mat, with the floor, whatever's under you. And just notice the sensations. And when you're ready, maybe place that blanket up under your hips or between your shoulder blades. Just begin to enjoy softening around your crop. Try to feel the body begin to melt around the crop. If your lower back's catchy, maybe bend those knees. Have a nice big inhale through your nose. Exhale, side out your mouth. Yes, let it go. Now begin to awaken your breathing. Maybe you decide to take a nap. I don't know, but just begin to breathe. Ah, and it's kind of fun in our practice. We don't anticipate where we're going. We're just in the moment. And even when I'm giving you cues, if something just feels intuitive, an extra little movement or a pause or a transition, allow that to happen, okay? It's not like you can't catch up or skip around and join up later. So try to watch your breathing from beginning to end. <coughs> Recognize if you're clenching your jaw, let those lips part. When you're ready, just bring your hands to heart center to set your intention. No hurry. When you're ready, if you're on the prop, go ahead, release it, remove it, draw the knees wide again. Look opposite the knees. Give a little resistance. Maybe press the knees a little further away. See how that feels on the hips. Then draw the knees in closer to the chest and see how that feels on the mid-back. You might prefer midway or one over the other. And we're going to work our way to tabletop, hands and knees, maybe a little head roll, rock and roll. As few or as many as you like. All right. Hands and knees, give those feet a pat. Pelvic floor, belly strong. Feel the engagement. Feel how light and expansive you feel as we move through cat and cow. Maybe get a little freestyle, soften your gaze. Just notice what really feels good here on your body. Feel the suppleness, the fluidity, and that comes from keeping the core engaged, allowing you to really find some supple movement here, fluid movement. All right. When you're ready, we'll pause. We're going into Cobra Thunderbolt Close. So hands come a little forward. Inhale, lower the pelvis forward. Elbows point back and hug in. Exhale, round it up. Drag your fingers as you come back past your feet. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower the hips. Just begin to move with your breath. Enjoy the pause. Forward and back.
I did a lot of extra sitting today, so I'm really feeling this. One more round. All right, after this time back, neutral spine, tabletop, curl those toes under. Exhale, now dog, keep it nice and fluid. Settle it out, work it out. Maybe drop a knee and a hip in, that feels really good guys. Lifting the long legs, hip up higher and back. Really stretching to the psoas, the hip. Yes, sciatic area. Finding stillness, maybe a nice exhale. Turbo dog, bend those knees deeply, chest in towards the thighs, press through those fingers, cut the arms. And breathe, feel yourself telescope, fingertips through the hips. All right, on your next inhale, straighten legs, exhale out your mouth, let it go. Inhale, wave it to plank. In, through the tailbone to the heels, exhale, lift from the hips, slowly wave it back up. Inhale, wave it to plank. Exhale, down dog. This time, we'll wave it to plank, maybe even your chaturanga. Halfway down. Don't let those shoulders go deeper than the elbows, then we'll come all the way down. Give the shoulders a roll, hips a little wiggle, elbows back and in. Inhale up to your edge of the cobra. We're going to exhale, wave it all the way back down. Get the hips a wiggle again. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Exhale, take them back. Maybe interlace if that's too much on the shoulder. Just fly your arms. Feet stay down. Inhale, lift our hearts to a low cobra. Maybe lift the hands a little further from the hips. Maybe not. You can draw the nose side to side or the chin. Inhale, exhale, weight it down, release the hands, come to one cheek, let the shoulders just melt. Let the thighs feel like they're going to roll out. You might even wiggle the hips a little. And we'll inhale our chin to center and exhale to the other cheek, let the shoulders melt, let the thighs roll out. Maybe wiggle the hips a little again. That wiggling of the hips just helps release some lower back stress. All right, we're going to bring our chin to center, hands by the heart, elbows back and in, exhale, modified plank to tabletop. So we're going into our thread the needle kickstand, make sure nothing's beside you, okay? All right, let's inhale, right arm to sky, look up at it, exhale, thread the right arm underneath, lay down, let your left elbow fall for a moment, and just be. How much can you sink into your mat, to the floor? So remember, we want our right knee straight back from the shoulder. So you might need to adjust it a little to the left or the right. Left hand out from the nose, spider your fingers, your right fingernails press down. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, open up your heart more to the side. Lift the head, lengthen the neck. You might stay here or float that left arm to sky. Maybe you can take the left arm behind the back. You can bend the knee and sink the foot. Curl the pinky toes back. Yes. You might even lift your right toes to sky. <laughs> we'll begin to inhale, open up. Exhale along the way. Maybe take that right arm to sky. Look up at it. And release it down, a few rounds of cat and cow, traditional or freestyle. Amy, when is your husband going to join us in class? <laughs> All right, we're going to inhale, left arm to sky. Exhale, thread it underneath, lay down, let your right elbow just fall, soften your gaze, and be. Truly allow the surrendering to happen. Feeling that opposite end of the spectrum here. Then maybe bring that right hand off the mat from the nose. Left knee straight back from the shoulder. Inhale, right leg to sky. 
Exhale, open the heart more to the side, lift the head, lengthen the neck, and float the right arm up. So you've really got to press through that left shoulder and reach to the left hand so you don't dump into your neck. Maybe take that arm behind the back, even bend the knees, seek the foot. Maybe your left toes can point to the sky. Yeah. Good job, Missy. Have another beverage. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I will. Inhale, open up, and exhale along the way. Maybe left arm to sky. Two rounds of cat and cow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want your throat to get dry, okay? Right. <laughs> let's let's right. curl our toes under and exhale, greet our down dog. And just for fun, you might just hang out here, pedal it out, or a few Shakti kicks, just trying to feel light. Yes. Beautiful. Nice, Amelia. The torso's hands. And when you're ready, walk, step, or float, feet between hands. Inhale, look forward and find space, and exhale, fold. Press the feet, inhale, reverse it on up, lift from the heart, and exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward and find space, just have some salutation here, exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse it up again. This time, we'll take our hands behind, interlacing. Hug those upper arms. Inhale, knees are soft as we exhale, fold into our fold. Maybe you want your feet a little wider if the legs are a little tight right now. You can bend the knees a little more. I, there's a nice twist here that I like. Bending the left knee, straightening the right, open up your heart to the right, but press the shoulders back, really telescope the spine. Breathe. Inhale to flat back, exhale, bend your right knee, open your heart to the left. Left leg straight, maybe. All right. Inhale to center, exhale, fold, hands to lower back. Let those arms straight a bit, give your shoulders a little roll. We're going to inhale, reverse it on up, all right? We're going to clasp our left wrist with our right hand. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lift and arc to the right, all right? So you're pressing firmly into your left foot. You want to feel your heart lift up and out of that side body. You can look up inside the bicep or towards the floor. Just try not to drop the head forward. Inhale, lift up, left hand to right wrist as we exhale, lift and arc to the left. And breathe. Feel a nice stretch on that right side body. Oh my God. Okay, inhale up, exhale, release it down. <laughs> and from here, we're going to do two sun salutation A's all the way to the end, two of them. So if you know your sun salutation A, just move with your breath. I'll still do it. All right, so let's inhale, arms up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward and find space, and exhale, fold, maybe all the way down on that same exhale, even extra chaturanga, then dasana. Exhaling to down dog. Two breaths here. The bottom of your next exhale, walk, step, or float, feet between hands. Inhale, look forward and find space. And exhale, fold. Building key here. Inhale, reverse it on up. Maybe a little back bend. And exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward and find space. And exhale, fold as you step or float. Strong neck. Going through your vinyasa. Savor that breath. Nice exhale and down dog. Bottom of your next exhale, walk, step, or float. Feet between hands. Inhale, look forward and find space. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse it on up. <laughs> exhale, hands to heart center. So we're getting ready to go into chair. If you prefer to have your feet closer, feel free to. I like my feet 
sit bones distance apart to support my hips. It just feels more natural to me. But know what feels good to you. So let's inhale our arms up. Reach, shift into the heels as we exhale. Slowly lower the hips back. And breathe. Make sure you can see those big toes. Breathe into the upper back. Feel the lift of the heart. Squeeze the pelvic floor and belly to spine. Those inner thighs are hugging. Yes, maybe lower the hips a little more. Can you shift to your left foot and just lift your right foot a little? Ooh, this just kind of came to me. Why not? Lower the right foot down. Center up. Slowly shift to your right foot. Can you lift your left foot a little? All right, left foot down. Inhale and exhale. Let's fold. Forward fold. Inhale, look forward and find space. And exhale, fold as we step or float. Vinyasa. Audible exhale, let it go. <sighs> when I'm in down dog, I always move my feet just a smidgen closer towards my hands, and it just feels better for me. To recognize if something like that or bending your knees a little extra really helps you find more space and you just feel more comfortable in it and still feel the stretch. So let's inhale right leg to sky. Exhale, bend our knee and press that foot towards the left shoulder. Press to your right hand. Maybe draw circles. Breathe. Maybe look up and over your left shoulder today or you can look up under your left underarm. Inhale, lengthen the leg, release it down, exhale. Inhale, left leg to sky. And exhale, bend that knee, reach for the right shoulder. Press to the left hand, maybe look up and over your right shoulder. You can draw circles, get your breathing, feel that strong belly. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, release it down. We'll come off the wrist here in a moment. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, slowly knee to nose, tuck your chin, maybe touch that knee with the nose. Inhale it up, left heel towards earth. Exhale, knee to nose again. Then look forward, set your foot beside your right hand. Flat back. All right, warrior one back foot as we shift it a little forward and more to the left. Pull that right hip crease back, press to the back heel, a playful hinge. And let's inhale up, warrior one. And exhale, soften the shoulders from the ears. Press to the back heel and spiral the left thigh forward. And notice how that right hip pulls back a bit. Deepen the lunge a little. And breathe into that stretch. So we're going to go into eagle arms. So this is a shoulder opener, shoulder release class today. Let's bend our right arm, left arm underneath and around. I hook my left pointer finger with my right thumb. That helps me. You can always open up, hug the shoulders. Draw the elbows down and into the chest. Keep the strong foundation, the left thigh spiraling forward. And breathe into the compression here. Feel the long neck, the shoulders drawing down from the ears. That helps with the arms pulling down. All right, so we're going to work our way to eagle pose. Oh, well, no, let's stay here for a moment. If it's available on an inhale lift, up and out. Nice. And then we'll lower the elbows down. We're going to go maybe into a bit of warrior three. Shifting forward, you can let go of the arms and fly them. Lifted leg, toes are open. Squeeze those arms, maybe reach them further forward. And from here, we'll straighten up into eagle legs, or you can just do chair legs arms. Draw the elbows down and in. Feel your back fire up. And we're going to reach it back to warrior one footing, maybe through that warrior three, and then down. Inhale the arms out and up. Exhale, take them behind interlacing. Inhale, lift from the heart. If you need to tell, take time. Exhale, lead with the heart. Wave it through the throat. Tuck the chin. Humble warrior here. We're just going to hit almost every warrior here. 
Zephyr Dancing Warrior today. Oops. All right, let the arms drape to gravity, up to lower back first and let them drape to gravity. All right, so your hands are inside the right foot. Walk your right foot over to the side, toes off at an angle, heel on the mat. Lift the back heel, slide the back foot far away. Front knee over ankle, flatten the back foot and lower the back knee, split press. Exhale, take the hips back, tuck the chin. Mini waterfalls here, inhale, lift it up. Maybe track the knee to the side, opening the toes when you come forward. And just go forward and back. Missy, did you quit working towards splits? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. This is a great stretch. Yeah, that's how I hurt, hurt myself. Yes. Remember, you can always choose to stay forward or back or continue to keep moving. Remember, maybe tracking that knee to the side when you come forward, allowing it to become more of a hip opener, which will help us for our second part of the sequence today. All right, if you found stillness, we want to come forward, we're going to find lizard pose. You might find you want your prop up under your forearms or even track your arms over to the left or you can stay up on your hands. Most important thing here first is the knee tracking to the right and the toes open. Okay, we're breathing here. All right, nice stretch here through the left hip and um, quadricep, but you can make this more a dynamic move where you curl your left toes, your back toes under, and lift the leg. You really feel that very active pull of the belly button through the spine. Maybe you lower the knee back down and just get that stretch and that left hip again. Feels good. All right, we'll slowly walk up to our hands. Take your left hand off the mat. Fingers kind of point to the side, 30 degrees. We're gonna bend our back knee. Inhale, reach that right arm forward and exhale, seek the pinky toe side of the foot or roll the thigh away. All right, curl those toes back. Inhale, lift from the heart, let your head go back. Maybe you can lower your hips just a little. Enjoy the back bend, the twist, the stretching through the legs. Nice. All right, we're gonna slowly unwind. Both hands inside the foot, curl our back toes under, lift the leg. So we're kind of in a deep lunge here. We're going to shift our back foot probably almost halfway forward and keep it kind of wide, we're coming into pyramid pose. So you want your feet at least as wide as your hips, okay? Both feet are pointed forward. All right, straighten the legs without locking the knees, maybe hands to hips or fly the arms as we inhale, come on up. All right, nice. And so from here, we'll, um, we really want to feel our hips squaring. So it's a good thing to pat your hands to your hips, um, press through the mound of your right foot, right behind the toes and lift the toes. And notice how that allows you to keep that right knee playful. You wanna keep that, so lifting those toes helps. And now pull that right hip crease back as the left thigh spirals forward and feel that energetic squaring. And we wanna keep that as we inhale up. Exhale, take our hands behind, either opposite wrist, forearm, elbow, or reverse prayer pose. Inhale, find space, and exhale into flat back. Once you find that flat back, Inhale, press your mid back to sky. Peel the shoulders from the ears. Pull that right hip crease back. Keeping the flat back, maybe you can exhale, hinge a little deeper. Keep feeling the shoulders drop from the ears. The front knee soft. We're trying not to drop the head. You might find a deep fold. You might stay mostly up high, and that's okay. Feel those hips energetically squaring. Breathing, 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 breathing. Beautiful, and we'll inhale, come on up. Release those arms out and up. Exhale, reach as we take it down. Step back, going through your vinyasa, meeting in down dog. Nice exhale, let it go. And we'll inhale, left leg to sky. 
Exhale, super slow, knee to nose. How high can you keep those hips? Lift the back heel. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Then look forward, set the foot inside your hand. Flat back. Warrior one back foot, foot a little wide and a little forward. Pull that left hip crease back, maybe that playful hinge first. And then on an inhale, float it up. Feel that strong foundation. Exhale, soften shoulders from the ears. File the right thigh forward. Maybe deepen the lunge. And breathe. Feel how the spine is telescoping, the heart's lifting, and you're expanding. You don't ever want to feel like you're sinking into the lower back. So we're going to bend those left arms, right arm underneath and around, maybe right pointer finger to the left thumb. Elbows down and in, fire up the back side. Breathing, keep that left hip crease pulling back so that right thigh can come forward. And just breathe into this deep hug. So if it's available on an inhale, we'll lift heart and arms up. Maybe a deeper back bend, but you're lifting towards the sky. And we'll slowly lower those elbows down. If you keep the eagle arms, remember to squeeze them. Remember you can release them as we shift forward, lifting the back leg, squeezing those arms. You might reach them further forward. Those are open. And we'll bend that left knee as we hinge, standing up here, bringing that right leg onto the left. Hug those arms down and in, squeeze the legs, find your edge of chair. We're working back to warrior one foot, maybe through that eagle warrior three. Lowering it back, take your time. Then once you land it, inhale the arms out and up. Exhale, take them behind, interlacing, squeeze those fingers, inhale, lift from the heart. Exhale, from the back heel, feel the wave, the heart forward, through the throat, tucking the chin. Breathe, maybe those hands just float a little further from the hips comfortably, but hug those arms. Maybe that left knee can track a little more to the left. All right, hands to lower back first, release both hands inside the foot. Flat back, lift the back heel, and slide that back foot literally as far away as it'll go. Then lower your right knee down. Left foot over to the side, off at an angle. And with your exhale, take the hips back, tuck the chin. Inhale, wave it forward, track the knee to the left, open the toes. Move forward and back. Enjoy a pause if it's there. And after a few, recognize if you would prefer to stay forward or back. <coughs> Just checking in where I can see. Yes, breathing, breathing, breathing. So Amy, Am, Emily, sorry. <laughs> I get so confused here. See if you can, Amelia, see if you can take your back knee further back. Curl your back toes under and just slide it back. And when you go back, your hips will be over that back knee. Feel that difference right there? Yeah, and then you're not compromising that right knee. There, yes. <coughs> when I say literally take it back as far as it'll go, take it back there. Okay. All right, so when you're ready, we'll all come forward. Maybe with the prop, maybe not. And we'll come on down to our elbows. Or maybe track to the right, that can help too. But once again, the most important thing is that knee tracking to the left, toes open. Don't force the hip joint or the knee. Come up to the hands if that helps alleviate too much stress, okay? You don't need too much stretch. If you're feeling a stretch up here on the hands, you don't need to go down to the elbows. And breathing, bellies to the spine here. Once again, you can make it dynamic by curling the back toes under, lifting the leg, lengthening through the heel, belly through the spine. Yes. You'll begin to feel that heart rate and blood pressure increase. You really gotta breathe to fuel the body. And then we'll lower that knee down again. And on your next inhale, walk the hands up. 
Right hand off the mat at an angle, bend your back knee. Inhale, reach that left arm up. Exhale, take it up and back. To the side of the foot, that front knee is still tracking to the left. Look up and back, maybe a deeper back bend, but the heart lifts up. Don't sink into the right shoulder. Press away from the earth. And we'll bring that left hand down, both hands inside the foot. Curl the back toes under, lift the leg. All right, once again, stepping that back foot, maybe about one half to a third forward. Both feet pointed forward. All right, so it's a shortened stance. Pull that left hip crease back. Press to the mound of the left foot of behind the toes. Hands to hip or inhale, fly them up. Hands to hips first, just taking a moment, feeling that energetic squaring of the hips, how both feet and legs have to work for that to happen, all right? And keep that front knee soft. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, take it behind, opposite wrist, forearm, elbow, or reverse. No mistake, our hands, inhale. Exhale. Inhale to flat back. And exhale, find your hinge at the hips without rounding. I like to inhale, press into the mid-back. Exhale, lower a little. Inhale, press into the mid-back. Maybe lower a little more. And I just keep doing it forward and back like that. And when I do it like that, I end up going a lot deeper. Letting the body acclimate sooner. Keep that right hip spiraling forward. All right. Press through. Inhale, come on up. Release those arms out and up. Exhale, release it down, step back, going through vinyasa. Little sip of water, maybe. We'll be doing the bind here in our um, warrior two inside angle. So if you need a towel, make sure that's close by. All righty. When you are ready though, just lie down, dog. You're still sipping, take your time. Maybe you're playing in down dog a little. It's up to you. Just be in the moment. Okay. So let's inhale, right leg to sky. Feel the space, fingertips to the foot. Press away, really hug the arms. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it up again. Exhale, knee to nose. Look forward, out control. Can you set your foot inside your hand? Beautiful, let's spin our back heel down sideways. Heel to heel or heel to arch alignment. Reach that left arm forward and pause. Pressing through both feet, maybe that playful hinge. Try not to let the legs move. However you transition up with the arms. Let's inhale up, warrior two. All right. So make sure you're really feeling the hip opening here, okay? So when you track that front knee to the pinky toe, you can even draw, stir the pot a few times with that right knee. And just really feel that lubrication begin to happen. And then track that front knee towards the pinky toe. Roll to the outside edge of that left foot and really feel that left hip open, but don't lose the front knee. Zip it up. Press into the left rib cage. Reach fingertip to fingertip. Maybe lower the hips a little here. Feeling good. Nice. Right hand to sky. Exhale back. Peaceful warrior. Maybe bend one elbow or both. Just stretching a little through the shoulders here. Maybe deep in the lunge. Feel the heart lift up and out of the spine. Inhale up, warrior two. Exhale, hinge. Oh, hinge back up. Feel those strong legs. Do it a couple times. And then we'll hinge forward and find our extended side angle. Maybe left arm long past the ear. Your right arm can go anywhere it likes, either the forearm to the thigh, inside the leg, to the floor, but press away from whatever you touch and maybe open the heart more to the side, stacking your shoulders more. And breathe. If you're going to use a towel for your bind, you'll want it in your left hand. As we exhale, take our arm behind, give the shoulder a roll. Feel the space, press the shoulders and the neck back. You want to keep finding that. Then maybe seeking the bind, that right arm stays behind that right knee. Press the shoulders back again. If you look down towards your front foot, lift your back heel, 
bend the back knee a little, and maybe you can do one step forward. Slowly shifting to your left foot, come to your right big toe, tippy toe. Begin to round it up slowly, hug those arms in. Once you get up halfway, your focal point or change, hug those arms in, activate that right foot, and then use that right arm and leg connection to maybe straighten your leg to your edge. Try to bring it down as controlled as you came up. Take your time. Look down. Can you step the left foot back to the bind? And then inhale up for your two. And exhale, take it down. So through that sequence, take your time if you're playing and working on your balance. You know where we're going. Nice. I just don't like having my back to you. <laughs> Have a nice exhale. Let's take our feet wider than our mat. So this feels really good. Lift the hips up and back, and then maybe the chest comes in a little more, but still continue to hug those arms and feel the tricep roll out to the edge and behind. Nice. Walk, step, or float your feet back onto the mat. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it up again. Exhale, knee to nose. Look forward, set your foot inside your hands. Spin that back heel down sideways. Reach your right arm forward and pause. Maybe that playful hinge. And then on an inhale, windmill it up. All right. Remember, just tracking that front knee, roll that right hip out, roll to the outside edge of the back foot, zip it up, reach, feel it broaden across your chest, the collarbones, feel the throat long as the shoulders draw from the ears, feel those lower abdominals really working. And left hand to sky, exhale back to the warrior. Maybe bend one elbow or both once again. Finding space in the shoulders. And we'll inhale up warrior two. And we'll play with that hinge a little. Hinge forward far. Come up. Far. You really feel the strong legs here, the foundation. Then we'll hinge forward. Find our edge of extended side angle. Reach. Press away from the leg and maybe open up the heart more. Don't let the left knee drift inward. Keep it tracking out to the side. Keep pressing to the back foot. Towel in your right hand if you need it as we exhale right arm behind. Give the shoulder a roll. Press the shoulders back. Find that space each step. Even when you find the bind here, press the shoulders back again. Maybe look up. And then look forward. Maybe lift the back heel, bend the knee. And it's a little spring for you to step forward. All right, slowly shift to the right foot. Maybe round it up. Oh, almost had it. Still strengthening that leg, I am. Woo, not today on the carpet. <laughs> Good. Take your time when you do come out of it. Try to come out of it step by step. The way you went in. Inhaling up, warrior two. Exhale, meeting in, down dog. Ah, take a moment here. We're gonna do um, forearm side plank, All right? And I'll, we'll do left first. So if you can, just shift your weight to your right hand and come down to your left elbow. Your left fingertips are reaching toward, or pointing towards the right corner of the mat at the top. All right, we'll roll to the side of our feet or lower your left knee if you need to. Maybe stack those feet, hand to hip, press the shoulders back. Float your right arm up and breathe. I like to look down, but you can look up too. That really kind of amps it up a little. Lift those hips, toes are open, and we're breathing. Let's just exhale, hug it in a little like we're hugging the barrel. Inhale it up. 
Exhale, hug it in. Inhale it up. One more. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale it up. And now let's come to our right elbow. Roll to the right side of our feet. Your left hand can stay there to brace you first. And then maybe left hand to hip. Press the shoulders back. Lengthen through the heels to the crown of the head. Float that left arm up. Press away from the earth. Lift those hips a little higher. And breathe. Try not to tuck the chin or look back at the body. With your next exhale, hug it in like you're hugging a barrel, very active. Inhale up two more times. We'll inhale it up. Exhale, come down to both elbows, hands and knees. Hips over knees. We're coming into puppy pose as we exhale. Slide our arms forward. Either to the forehead, the nose, or the chin. And maybe even shift the hips a smidge and forward. See if that gives you a little more space. Maybe it brings the chest a little closer to the floor. Maybe it's too deep and you need to back the hips off or even place a, a blanket or a cushion under your forehead. Just try to breathe. Maybe feel some softening behind the shoulder blades, underneath them. All right, we'll slowly begin to work our way up. Nice. We're going to have another little shoulder stretch here, okay? So um, if you could sit up just briefly and look at me, and then I'll cue you on it, okay? So we will be, I'll do this side first. I'll be looking to the left, my right arm wide, my left hand out here. I'll roll to my right hip just to pause to see how my right shoulder act feels. You might bend your left foot behind or in front of the right. You might even, after the left foot's there, be able to bring the right knee up too, just like the left. And when we come up, we don't want to bend the arm behind the back. We've already done that. We want to let the arm float behind us. So come on down to your mat on your belly. Come to the left side of your mat and extend your right arm wide, palm down, and come to your right cheek. Look at your left hand, spy your fingers, elbow bent, and exhale, roll to your right side. And pause. If it's too much on the shoulder, track your hand towards your hip. Maybe bend that left knee, put on the floor either behind that right leg or in front. It is a deep twist if you're able to bend your right knee as well. If it's too much, straighten that right leg or just bend the knee a little on the floor. And then maybe inhale that left arm up and exhale, just let it float back, the palm faces towards the sky. Give it a few breaths to soften. Just a different stretch here. We're letting, you don't want to let gravity really have it. You want to have a little activation. All right, we'll bring that left hand back to the floor. Maybe straighten that right leg, then the left, roll back to your belly. Nice, maybe give the hips a little wiggle, depending on how deep that was in your back. Then we'll shift over to the right side of our mat. Take our left arm wide, palm down, looking to the right. Right elbow bend, spider fingers, and exhale, roll to your left and pause a moment. Just check in, see how the shoulder feels. Then maybe begin to bend the right knee. Maybe the left, and then maybe not. Maybe undo it. We'll inhale that right arm up. Next, I'll just let it flow back. And breathe. Keep that right arm a little active, the fingers a little active. And breathe. Nice twist here for us too. A little different. All right, so right hand comes back. Begin to straighten the left leg, then the right as we roll back to our belly. Nice. So we're gonna have a little counter pose here. Hands by our heart, give our shoulders a roll. Exhale, press up to modified plank and back to child's pose. So check in today, try both on, maybe knees wide and knees close. Try it on, see how it feels different on your back or your hips. And then recognize which one really just 
alleviates where you're feeling any tension right now. Maybe it's halfway between the two. And let's let our arms straight back by our legs. Yes, and let those arms straight to gravity. And you're breathing in this peaceful warrior. Aha, another warrior. Maybe roll the forehead side to side. Forgot about this one being peaceful warrior. <laughs> uh, resting warrior. We did peaceful warrior earlier. Nice. How's your back feeling? Let's bring our arms long forward. Come up on spider fingers. Dynamic. Press through those fingers. Try to reach your hips further back, belly to the spine. And breathe. All right, we're gonna inhale slowly, round it on up to tabletop. Beautiful, beautiful. And um, if you're all okay with it, today for our back bend, I'd like to hold your flip dog for at least five breaths. If you can do longer than five, That'd be great. Amelia, you do your flip dog, right? Thumbs up? Thumbs up? Yeah, okay. All right, so let's just do that, all right? And really breathe into it. Feel yourself pressing away, the glutes squeezing, inner thighs. And just really enjoy, all right? So that'll be our back today. So let's inhale our right leg to sky. Exhale, bend the knee, press to the right hand, pause, feel the stretch. Enjoy the transition. How controlled can you set that foot behind you to flip your dog? Press to the heels, squeeze the glutes, and now begin to breathe. Remember, if you can do more than five breaths, feel free to. Don't let the glutes of inner thighs go. Maybe that head can lower a little more. And when you are ready, when you're done, reach, look back, and control them, flip your dog. Nice, beautiful, guys. Settle it out, let it go, let down dog be your resting pose here. Nice, it's kind of fun to spend more time in it, I think. Little change. So let's inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, bend the knee and pause. Press more through the left hand. And now try to control the flip. Every ounce of it. Slow it down. Reach to that left hand. Press to the heels. And begin to breathe. Squeeze those glutes. Your thighs. You can count on your fingers as you look for that hand if you like. Just bring in another level of being in the moment. When you are ready, remember, look back, reach, use that whole left side, and inhale, lift that left leg to sky. Exhale, release it down. Nice. Heels lifted, tippy toe, feet between hands. Bend our knees. Let's come on down to our backs. Woohoo! How y'all feeling? Rocking Good. Awesome. Yeah. We'll rock it out a little, just massage our hips. And then when you're ready, a happy baby. We're all going to do an inversion together today. If someone is not happy with doing shoulder stand, can you like lift an arm or a leg so I'll know? Is everyone okay? Want to play a little bit in shoulder stand today? And since we're going to play a little bit in the shoulder stand, I want to set up the mat or a blanket up under your shoulders, okay? And just give our neck a little more space, less stress on the cervical spine. So when you're ready, maybe a little leg roll, rock and roll, seat it up. First, I've got to lose my hair because it will interfere with my neck. All right. So on our shoulder stand, you can either fold your mat a few times or use a blanket. And I'm going to want the blanket to um, be right at the top of my shoulders when I lay down, okay? It doesn't have to be very thick. So you might have to readjust yourself. 
So when I lay down, the blanket and the top of my shoulders are even. So you might need to scoot around a little and that'll let your head fall back and give you a little more space for your neck. Once you get up to shoulder stand, if this really creates tension, then remove the blanket, all right? So if you have a special way you like to get to shoulder stand, feel free. I've got a little challenge for you. We'll lift our hips and bridge. Begin to work our hands up under our hips, working our elbows closer together. Back and forth I'm going, back and forth. And I'm working my feet a little closer now towards my shoulders, maybe lift one foot, then the other. And then yet I still gotta work my hands closer together and I've rolled off my blankets. Now I need to come back up again anyway. <laughs> so it's just kind of fun to approach it in a different way too. Work your hands closer together, your elbows closer together and work your hands towards the direction of your bra strap. It doesn't have to get down there, but that's where it's going. Then when you're ready, reach to the toes, fan them out, hug the legs, draw your chest from your chin. It might make you round a little more, but it protects your neck. Maybe reach your right foot back past your head, reach both feet now in opposite directions, reach the other one higher to the sky, and begin to switch your breathing, reach those legs in opposite directions, Nice. And then if you can, both legs together, slowly lowering your feet behind you. How slowly can you lower them? Hopefully your feet touch the floor or you can snag a pillow and reach it and put it up under your feet, your toes. If your hands can come flat to the floor, do so. Lift out the back of the legs and lengthen through the heels. You're compressed, I know. With an exhale, tiptoe your feet towards the right. Just a little, it doesn't have to be far, but it's what feels comfortable. Inhale, tip them back to center, tiptoe. Exhale, tiptoe them to the left. So we're getting a little spinal twist too. Inhale to center, maybe one more each side. Listen to your neck. If you can, bend your knees. You might want your hands on the back here and try to hug your ears with your knees. And breathe. We're gonna extend our legs long again. If your hands can come flat to the floor, do so. Do so. Try to keep your legs as close to your face as you can. Reach to those hands and roll down one vertebra and stop. Toes are flexed a bit, one vertebra and stop. Once your legs want, your hips wanna roll all the way down, they do so. Roll them down, we're gonna come up seated for fish pose. Okay. Woo. That's a little core workout to lower, the, lower those legs slowly, guys. It feels good, too. So, Matsyat's in a fish pose, hands in a fan. You're going to sit on your thumbs. Work those elbows close together already. Legs are hugging, toes pointed, fan out. Inhale, lift from the heart. Exhale, come to your elbows. Maybe work them closer together and let the head fall back. Inhale, lift from the heart again. Exhale, let the head fall back. Maybe it comes to the floor, maybe it doesn't but feel your heart lift to the sky. Hug those legs, fan out the toes, and breathe. Listen to your shoulder. When you are ready to come out, inhale, lift from the heart as you come out. Oh yeah, nice job, nice job. All right, so, um, we're gonna go into one more little stretch here, child with not arms for our back, all right? Velasana with not arms. So you'll sit back on your heels, but we're gonna bring our right arm closer to the legs and our left, and we wanna balance. We don't wanna lean one more to the other side or not, and just slowly work your arms out in opposite directions, let your chin just fall to that left bicep. It should be in front. And just breathe. Let your lower back open up. Let the shoulders release a little here. Feel a stretch somewhere. Nothing that's sharp. All 
right, on an inhale, we'll belly to the spine, lift the chest up, and let's slowly switch arms. So your left arm comes closest to the legs, and then the right arm in front of that. Work the arms out gradually as far as they can in opposite directions. Let your chin come to your right bite up there if you can, and just relax. Stretching out that lower back, feels good, the hips. Maybe feel the hips sink a little further back and relax. Maybe it's the shoulders that need to soften or the neck. All right, we'll slowly lift on up. Maybe find a thunderbolt here, hands behind, lifting the heart. All right. So we're gonna to try to find frog here. Frog's not my friend. You can do this against the wall or on your mat, okay? Hopefully you can see me. I, my body does not do this before or after hip replacement, but we want our heels straight back from our knees, all right? And our knees are bent and our hips are in alignment with the knees. We don't want our hips forward of the knees. So you'll come here, you might stay up high, you might be able to get lower to the forearms. If you're pretty wide with the legs, you might even be able to um, grab a, a couch cushion or something and place it up under your belly and chest to relax a little bit more to the spine. If at any point um, this is too much, come off, but your feet are flexed, toes can stay open. Um, doing a pose like this against the wall really just gives a little extra activation for the feet on the wall, which helps activate the legs. This just helps to balance everything out a little more. I'm going to come off of that one. So I am doing just one leg at a time here. And that feels really good too. I can relax and get the stretch. I'm not very deep in this pose, so it seems like I'm fighting it, but when I'm just sitting on my right heel and have my left leg back, I feel a super duper sweet stretch. Yes. Nice. If you did do one leg, adjust to that, maybe adjust to the other. You still want to keep the frog leg on the opposite leg. We slowly work our way out of this pose. Okay. How is everyone for sitting between their heels, especially after that? Open and close so I can see. Is everyone comfortable with that? Uh huh. Okay. Amelia, you look good. Yeah. How's that feel, Amy? You can sit on a blanket too. Okay, remember you can roll the calf and lift the thigh and nestle it in. So um, if you do this pose every day like this and just watch TV, don't forget to lengthen through the spine, press through the, the feet and the floor. If you do this every day, your body will find more space just in a week even. And just watch TV, maybe just a couple minutes doing this and you'll feel a difference, okay? And then you might even begin to lay back Maybe the hands just go back to heart lifts. Maybe you can come to your elbows and the heart lifts. Or maybe you can even lay all the way down. I'm not there on my right hip yet, but this feels pretty good. Nice, yeah, I feel a sweet stretch. I just want you to feel a nice stretch. If you're staying up on your arms at all, you're getting more of a back bend. If you lay all the way down, you're just getting a nice deep stretch in. So yeah. How's that feel, Amy? Good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So when you come up, if you're laying down, lift from the heart, come up. Maybe press to the hands, bring the knees close together, and then roll to one side. Okay, onto our back sides. It's about that time. It's really flown by tonight. Y'all did a lot. Y'all I know you guys, so I just went at it. <laughs> Transition first. All right, 
And what's a little more core work? It's good. Legs long, flex the feet, arms wide, palms flat. Roll that tailbone away, suction the belly, inhale and exhale. Slowly take the legs to the right. Don't let them touch the floor. Let them go as far as they want without touching the floor or as little. Then we'll inhale, take them up. Oh yeah, exhale, take them to the left. Maybe look to the right to help. Don't let them touch the floor. Inhale, bring them up. And this time we'll exhale, slowly take them to the right and let them stay all the way down. All right. All right, you might bend both knees, right hand to that top thigh. You might reach for the outside edge of the foot and extend the leg forward. Nice, sweet stretch through the outer hip. Look to the left, palm open to the sky, or just look where you want. And breathe. And if you try straightening the leg and reaching for the foot, and it's a big stretch, just do it a few breaths. That will help. And then maybe back off. Or maybe you can sustain it. Hopefully you're just melting into your twist. Noticing what you feel twisting or stretching. A little action going on there. and Just breathe. If you have reached for the foot, maybe draw the toes towards you. Feel that extra little stretch somewhere maybe in the calf. And then you might bend the knees or keep the legs long, bring them back up. Feet on the floor, lift the hips just to recenter. Legs long, so then move over and we'll exhale, take them all the way to the left. Take your time, fight for it. Take a moment, pause, let the back acclimate. Maybe bend the knees, maybe not, left hand to thigh, maybe Reach for the outside edge of the foot with the knee bent, then extend the leg. The left knee can stay bent with that, or you can even bring the left leg long under the right leg. Breathing, breathing. Woo, that's deep. When you're ready, work your way back to center. Lift those hips, recenter, set them down. Recognize what's going to feel good to you before you transition into Shavasana. I'm gonna try to give you all just a little bit of my music because I miss the music part. Should we, I shouldn't be attached to that. But <laughs> that being said, yeah. I can give you a little bit of music, right? Yeah. So let's see what we got here. Let me turn up my music. Can y'all hear it? No. It's very, a very quiet one. Just you can sing to us. Here. <laughs> Just find your happy place in Shavasana. Allow those lips to part. There you go, Amelia. Just some toning bowls. Oh, 
Try to feel yourself just melt a little more into your contact with your floor. Just as we try to allow our body to drape around our prop at the beginning, try to just begin to feel that draping. Yes. Nice. And just enjoy the sensations of feeling your body soften and melt. Observing it, not controlling it. By surrendering the tension, you are in control. And now slowly just begin to wake in your breathing. Something a little different today. <clears throat> if you need intuitive movement or a long body stretch, do so. But we're going to roll to one side after that, okay? Maybe roll to one side with right or left, whatever feels good. Cushion your head. Let that hand or arm come under your face. Still feel the breathing after that slight movement. Notice how already tension might have started to build. And let it go. And now tune in to the hum of your surroundings. Maybe you hear some airflow, someone's television in the background, something. Pitter patter of feet. Just tune in to the hum of your surroundings. No, no comment, no judgment. Nice. And recognize maybe throughout the day how much you miss just the smallest nuances around you. Maybe look for more of those small things each day so we are sure to find the joy and therefore the gratitude in the moment. Namaste.